I'm Kami from Q Wireless, and in today's video let me present the QMAX XR All-In Antenna. It offers the most powerful directional LTE antenna of all Q Wireless antennas, and is dedicated to connections with long distance to the base station. It also has embedded two Wi-Fi antennas that are dual band 2.4 and 5 GHz, GPS antenna and Bluetooth antenna. The unique mounting bracket, which is inside the enclosure, allows to install the Teltonica router inside the antenna. It works with Teltonica root 240, 950, 955, X09 and X11. Its biggest advantage is the place in the enclosure for the electronics. And how to assemble it? Let me show you. First, take the top lid and put it on the side. As a first step, we should install the RJ47 adapter. Put it in the hole and screw in. Now let's rearrange and take care of the Teltonica router. I'm gonna use the root X11. We need to plug the cables to the port on the radio. Thankfully, the cables are marked, so you know which one should go where. As you can see, the QMAX XR All-In has an adjustable mounting bracket. You just have to unscrew it, pull the mounting bracket back, put the radio down. Please make sure that none of the cable is below the radio. Push it back. and screw the bolt back. Now your router is secured. As a last step, let's just put the enclosure back, but please don't forget to plug the Ethernet cable to the LAN 1 port. All right, in the last step, we screw the four screws and the antenna will be ready to use. The antenna is ready to be used. However, it might be easier for you to install the mounting bracket when it's still on the table. Let me show you how. Just put it down. You are going to need the 5mm hex wrench. As you can see, you have four holes and four screws. You just have to make sure it's securely installed. What's important, with the last screw, you need to remember about the grounding wire. It should be always installed on the right downside of the antenna. We are ready to go. Your antenna is installed on the mast and ready to be used. Thank you for watching. Bye!